As you plan for your first hunting trip of the season, or you're hauling a new side-by-side -side to your deer lease, you want to be sure you've got your side-by-side -side properly secured. Let's join Scott Newby of Yamaha Outdoors as he walks us through how to safely load and secure a side-by-side -side onto a trailer. One of the big things you want to do to make sure that when you're going out for a hunt, or you're going for a big ride or anything like that, if you're traveling with your vehicle in tow behind you, you want to make sure it's properly secured to your trailer. When you go to load your vehicle, the first thing you really want to do is make sure that the trailer, everything is securely attached to your vehicle. Not only does that include in your two-inch receiver to where your ball and everything has a proper lock on it, but also make sure that you have the proper size ball for your trailer. Many times you'll see the size right on top of where you do connect everything. In this instance, two and five sixteenths ball on here. Once you do lock it on there, drop it in, lock it in. Obviously you want a good lock and everything as well. I definitely recommend that you have everything hooked up to your vehicle before you even drive up with your vehicle and, or with your side-by-side -side or ATV when you're loading it on the trailer. That way you don't have it coming off or anything like that at all. One of the big things that I recommend when you are loading your side-by-side -side or ATV onto the trailer, bring it as far forward as you can. In this instance, we have it to where there's kind of like a guard up front to where it's gonna keep the vehicle from rolling forward. If you don't have that, just bring it a little, little far back so that uh, you can just properly secure it. But you want to make sure that you secure your vehicle, your ATV or side by side, both from the front as well as from the rear. That way, if you're going through a turn or even having to stop or speed up quickly, that vehicle is secured from all the way around. You know it's not going to slip and slide anywhere. One big thing too, and many people are securing the ATVs or their side by sides to the trailer, they actually like to use their winch to tie it down with. That's definitely not something I recommend. If you have a wire, uh, wire winch or even just a synthetic rope winch, a lot of times that can kink it, that can bring it at a real funky angle to where you can pinch it. And if you're using it on the trail, it could break, it could snap on you. So I always recommend you definitely use tie downs to secure your vehicle down. And the great thing about the R-Max 1000, they have these hooks on the front that you can attach your tie downs to. You can also use those for D-rings if you ever have a recovery or if you need to pull your vehicle out anywhere or even make any adjustments there. Um, but you can also use them for the tie downs and I always recommend on the front of your vehicle you kind of pull it forward in a sense but you don't want to tie it down too much to where you're pulling the vehicle over the trailer because again you're also going to be securing it from the rear. So the great thing about these tie downs in particular is they have this loop to where you just can wrap it around a secure point on your trailer and that way you have it to where it just allows a lot of flexibility to where your tie down point is. Many times this hook you can hook it at a funky angle when you're going down on the road, you might hit a bump and it could easily kind of pop out if it was hooked somewhere to the trailer other than with this wrap and with this lead around it. So definitely a nice feature to have there. Another great thing about these tie downs is that it's a ratchet strap style. You just kind of start cranking down, make sure that you have your excess in your hand so it doesn't get pinched up and bound up. You kind of want to ratchet it down to where it's a little snug, but not too tight at this point because we still have three more areas that we do want to tie it down to. And then once you are complete with ratcheting everything down, tightening down the tie down as much as you can, you want to make sure that you have it to where this excess isn't flopping around because it not only could slap the vehicle, could scratch it up, but the other thing too is that if you ever did have it to where it's dragging on the ground and you could catch something or who knows what. So you just want to make sure that you don't have it where it's flopping around. I honestly like to kind of weave it through a little bit and that way you're not tying it in knots or anything and it's still gonna stay secure while you're driving down the road. And we're just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Hook it up to your tie down point and then start ratcheting down on the ratchet strap. Another great thing too is that with these ones in particular, if you ever have it to when you loosen it up, right here on the ratchet, you just pull that section out fold it open. As you can see, when you're pulling it back and you lift it all the way out, it loosens that strap up entirely. So in case you need to make any adjustments or if you start tying it down too much, it's really quick and easy to go back and start over. So now we just lightly tied down the front end of our side by side. And we're gonna come to the back and pretty much do the same thing. So we have these same tie downs where I have the soft hook on the back we actually have a ring on the back here that's uh, on the trailer, so we're just hooking it into there. And then we want to make sure that our tie down isn't twisted. And here we have nice little tie down points in the two inch receiver that we can hook it to. If you don't have that, same exact thing, you can get soft ties, you just kind of loop everything too. And then you do the same exact process we did in the front, just do one side, 
a little snug, but not too snug yet. I'm gonna wait to tie that down until I have it fully ratcheted down. You loosen up and, and have the tie down slip off. Another th key thing too, is placement of the vehicle on your trailer. You wanna make sure that you're pretty much over the axles, evenly balanced to where you don't have too much of the weight on the front end of the trailer, not too much on the back as well. And once you do, just uh, ride off, head out to your adventure and do the same exact process when you're ready to go back.